Good evening. I'm Jeff Clark, the Chief of Police for the University of Georgia Police Department. Thank you for joining us here today. I'm joined by Chris Posey, the Director of the GBI, Jerry Salters, Chief of Police, athens Clark County Police Department, and Clark County Sheriff John Williams. As I start, I want to again express my most sincerest condolences to the family of Lakeland Riley and her community of friends both here at UGA and Augusta University. This is heartbreaking. This is a heartbreaking time for the university. I could not disclose Lakin's name last night uh, during the news conference. As last night, the family had not been notified. But I'm here to share that we have a suspect in custody for Lakeland's murder. We are obtaining arrest warrants for Jose Antonio Ibera, 26 years of age. He lives here in Athens, but is not a U.S. citizen. He has been charged with the following, malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and concealing the death of another. He will be transported to the Clark County Jail. We have also searched, uh, served a search warrant on his apartment and continue to collect evidence. There are no indications of a con continuing threat to the community related to this case at this time. I want to thank the men and women of the University of Georgia Police Department and all of our partners. This arrest was facilitated by the excellent work of both patrol officers and detectives from the University of Georgia Police Department and the athens Clark County Police Department as well as Georgia Bureau of Investigation with the assistance of federal agencies as well. In every way, it was a genuinely a team effort. I know everyone will understand why I cannot go into detail on this case at this point, but I am willing to share some general information. The evidence is robust. It is supported by key input from the community, physical evidence, and expert police work. Importantly, we were assisted by video footage from our campus security cameras networks, which proven vital in many cases. Our work, however, is not done. We are continuing to collect evidence and urge members of the community who may, uh, who may have pertinent information to call UGA Police Department at 706-542-2200. At this time, I want to recognize Deputy Director Posey, Chief Salters, and Sheriff Williams and ask if they would make a comment. Good evening. Uh, as Chief mentioned, I'm Chris Hosey, Director for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. And uh, first off, let me uh, echo Chief's comments uh, to the family of Lake and Riley. Our thoughts and prayers will continue to be with her family, friends, and this community uh, for many, many days to come. Uh, in this tragic event, very tragic event. Uh, the point that has got us here today, as the Chief talked about, is partnerships uh, with the GBI, the uh, UGA Police Department, athens Clark County, uh, other local agencies assisting, as well as uh, additional state resources uh, that you see gathered here with us today. Uh, we're here where we are tonight because of that partnership and the hard work and the tireless work of the men and women that have been involved in this investigation. And we are grateful for that. We are grateful for these partnerships. We're grateful for the hard work. That's what they do on a daily basis. And uh, we're, we're here tonight because of, of that work and those partnerships. So thank you. 
Jerry Salters, Chief of Police for Athens, Clark County Police Department. First, I'd like to express my sincere condolences to the family of Lakin and all of her friends and loved ones. I appreciate all the hard work from all the law enforcement officers and public safety personnel that has worked tireless over the last 30 hours in making arrests in this heinous crime. I'm especially proud of the men and women of the athens Clark County Police Department for their commitment and partnership with the university and their work in solving this case. The athens Clark County Police Department has a long-standing partnership with the University of Georgia Police Department, and we will continue to support and assist them as we work to bring justice for Lakeland and her family. Thank you. Adam John Q. Williams, Sheriff here in Clark County. Uh, again, express sincerest condolences, and I just want to reiterate also, as my esteemed colleagues have, this is uh, truly a situation where teamwork uh, was paramount. Uh, whenever someone is victimized in Clark County, we have a lot of resources that can pull together and get results like this. Uh, so I want to thank all of the public safety and law enforcement professionals that we have operating in and around this county for just doing a great job. Uh, the results were timely, and I'm thankful to work with all of these fine people that you see in front of you today. At this time, I will take a few questions. Can you spell the suspect's name, sir? Uh, spelling Jose. J-O-S-E, Antonio, A-N-T-O-N-I-O, Ibera, I-B-A-R-R-A. -R -R you mentioned he is not a U.S. citizen. What is his status in the country right now? Right now, I don't know his full status, um, but he, he is not a... A residence. He has a an apartment here in Athens, but uh, um, as far as an undocumented, um, I'm not sure, and that hasn't been confirmed. I just know he's not a citizen of the United States. Cory Francisco with Channel 2 WSB. Can you tell me how he knew Lakin and where he's from? Any extra details on that? At this time, the the investigation suggests that they had no relationship. Uh, he did not know her at all. Um, I think this was a crime of opportunity uh, where he saw an individual um, and uh, bad things happen. What can we do to protect ourselves um, from a situation like this? You know, we always put out safety tips here at University of Georgia. Um, basically, if you're walking in groups, if you're going anywhere, do it in groups. Uh, basically, keeping your head on a civilian uh, 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 swivel. Uh, make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Mr. Clark, can you talk to us about what you were able to find in the apartment off Village Avenue? What made this smoother together and answer with 30 hours? At this time, the search warrant is taking place at the apartment right now as we speak. Um, that evidence is not known. I will say we didn't need the evidence inside of the apartment to convict uh, Mr. Ibarra. When will the suspect appear in court? As far as the suspect, this is a pretty brazen crime to happen in the morning, out of the open. Do you believe this suspect has done prior crimes in this community? Because this is a pretty bold jump to attack a young woman on a track and lead to her death. Um, um, uh, in recent check of his criminal history. He does not have an extensive criminal history as far as in violence. So I cannot say that this is, uh, 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 he has done this multiple times. Hey, Chief, throughout the day, we saw multiple people being taken away and uh, back of police cars. Did you, are there any other connections to anyone else in this case? Was anybody else involved or was you believe right now that this was a solo act? The evidence suggests that this was a solo act. Um, uh, we we took three or four people in custody. However, we're only going to arrest one in this you case. Have a motive or any indication at this point? Like I said, this was just a crime of opportunity. No motive. When is this report hearing? Hey, I was just, if you could just. Yeah, but, uh, Can you say how Lincoln is killed, sir? Say that again, sir. How the victim was killed. Uh, Blunt force trauma. 
Um, according to the in investigation, he did not attend school at the University of Georgia. When is his first court appearance? Do we know yet? Do not know that at this time. And Chief, what do you tell students? A lot of parents worried to have their kids come back to campus, and you're saying this might have been his first time. Again, the young woman doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. Out on this trail where a lot of students go, how do you restore some safety, some security on this campus? Because I know this has hit a lot of people, especially parents who have kids here. This could have been anybody's son or daughter out on that trail. This was a very isolated incident. Um, we haven't had a homicide at the University of Georgia in almost 30 years. Um, and this, as I stated before, this was an individual who woke, woke up with bad intentions on that day. Okay, so we have time for one more question. Okay. 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 Uh, excuse me. What, what, what has he told investigators? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Could you indicate some of the things that led your investigation to this individual? I know you might not be able to reveal too many things, but um, could you tell us what brought you to Mr. Ibarra? Um, a combination of several things, uh, video, evidence, uh, technology. Okay. What country is he from, sir? You know? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not certain on that. I believe Venezuela, maybe. Okay. Thank you all very, very much. Okay, so we are just getting an update this evening from police there at the University of Georgia as they discuss what they have uncovered in the death of 22-year-old Lakin Riley. Let's go through some of the key takeaways here of what we learned. We heard from the University of Georgia Police Chief Jeff Clark talking about what happened to the victim in this. Lakin Riley, she's 22 years old, died of blunt force trauma. The suspect is in custody. His name is Jose Antonio Ibarra. He is not a U.S. citizen. Police saying that he has an apartment in Athens, but he did not attend the University of Georgia. And there were some questions there about his legal status, but all we know is that he is not a U.S. citizen. The charges that he faces, this is a 26-year-old suspect, malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and more. Police also saying that this was random, saying that someone woke up yesterday and looked for a crime of opportunity. They had no relationship. Ibarra did not know Riley. There's no motive believed to be here. They believe this was tragically just a random incident. There was a search warrant taking place at Ibarra's apartment. They're still looking there this evening. Police saying that they did not need the information that will be obtained at the apartment to file the charges. They were relying on video evidence and technology that helped them make this arrest so quickly. In terms of Ibarra's criminal history, police saying it's not extensive. There's no clear history of violence. But the evidence that they've gathered so far suggests that Ibarra is the sole suspect who acted alone in this, saying that this was an isolated incident and that they haven't had a homicide at the University of Georgia in at least 30 years, according to the police chief. Just a tragic, tragic update that we're getting here out of Athens tonight. We're going to continue to follow this. Let's send you out to a quick break. More to come. We'll be right back.